Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making some more shads. Also, we're going to be remelting a cup of remelt crap I have. We're going to be remelting in most of the videos for a little while, and then we'll get back to just making baits. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a wide body with a uh, kind of bass-looking stripe. So, uh, we're going to get the uh, watermelon over here. Shake it up. I've already got the uh, flash to Plus the salt and all that heat up. Yeah, that's one of Okay, we gotta take off the glasses. All right, we're just, we don't want this. We're gonna make it a little dark, not too dark. Trying to get, try to get your shadow out of the way. Oh, my shadow is not the way it's your shadow. It's it's the light. The lighting needs to be beside us. Okay, we're not looking bad. We're, just, we're gonna add some more. All right, guys, well, when we have this, so we're going to pour the stripes in both sides. Um, that definitely looks a little darker. Still pretty hot plastic. Uh, just a tad bit darker. Because the white, I think, might make All right, guys, well, now we have the watermelon. The flake we're going to add. I say we add some green flake. We're going to be adding the emerald or earth 0.25. Luckily, this is this will not take too long. But I'm not. I've never actually tried boring stripes on a. Uh, I'm gonna add a lot of it. This might look good, guys. I don't know. I've never done green with green. Here we go. Oh yeah, guys. Make sure you hold it to where they can see it. Here, I'm trying to get a top view. Oh yeah, guys. This this looks nice. Oh, that's that's nice, guys. That's nice. All right, so we've got that ready. So I'll put back on the glove real quick, and then we will get to pouring. We gotta put on the other glove. All right, grassy green is what I would call it. All right, here we go. First try pouring stripes. We don't. We don't even have to pour that much. God. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, definitely not the best stripe. I think it's supposed to be more like a triangle. I'll cut it into a triangle or something. Okay, guys, we got the mold. Let's see how it looks. Oh, hang here. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. That's a beautiful looking crawfishy. Now, we did have one little kind of pour, or not pour, but injection mess up. Anyways, numeral dose. Okay, guys, this is the color. Oh my, I'm going to have to make a lot of these. Alright, and I mean, if y'all all want to see this one, uh. All right, guys, we're back. We got the remount. This we're, we're not gonna do too much remount because I gotta save it for another video. But we're gonna do the remount for zooms, and then we got the Cinco mold over there heating up. We're just showing y'all sneak peek on the next video. Oh, did we empty this one? This one. Oh shoot. Here we have it. Okay, I just wonder. All right, we just. And you act it kind of nice and slow. It's coming out. Uh oh. Okay, guys, that one did not do too well. So you have it in the middle. See, these are Cooper's clamps. That's my clamp. You gotta clamp it in the middle. Alright, that one just gonna. I don't know. I that probably just. I injected that one a little too hard. Alright, I think we got enough for Cinco. We still got like barely enough. We didn't. We don't even have enough. Uh -huh. All right. You um. Then you bobbers. 
Yeah, that thing is not gonna be filled up. All right, we'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, we're gonna. We already opened up one of these. Uh oh, guys, this one looks pretty bad. Yeah, well, guys, definitely can't say it's the best, but uh, for sure, a, a not a bad color, not a bad color at all, but. Maybe Brody's. I think Brody's clamp idea works. <laughs> Brody's clamping tubs. How to clamp a bait mold. Oh, guys, here we go. Maybe a good one. Okay, guys, we got a good one. We got a good one. She didn't show that. Show it. Show it. No, that's a good one. Oh. I was like, why are you not showing it? I don't know if you see, but we call we're calling this thing Christmas tree because it has it's gold, got all kinds of red and blue flake, and it's green like a Christmas tree. Unless you're those fancy people with the light Christmas trees. <sighs> yeah. I'm just gonna take off my whole glue. Uh oh, we I knew we were not about to get. Oh, we got one. I think two. Yeah, we got two. No, we one. got one. So we got Christmas tree Cinco. Mountain do. All right, guys, we got the the, the remelts already remelted. So we're gonna inject some more. We're gonna inject a. Uh, we're gonna inject some uh, our actual good thing of Cinco's real quick, and then that'll be the end for the video. So I uh, hope y'all guys have been enjoying it. And guys, if you have, make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button for more videos. And go watch my other videos. So they're really nice. Oh crap. <laughs> you threw what? The the wrong the zoom crawl? No, don't throw any yeah, I gotta inject, I gotta inject. Which one's the hot one? Why? Oh. Oh, we saved it. We saved it. Oh. It's kinda I just like uninjected all that and or like Okay, sometimes they're all, they like to go all the plastic. Okay, never mind. Actually, because we have to show you what the, uh, how the uh, swim baits turned out, but they are extremely hot, I still believe. All right, guys, we're back. Here we go. We're opening the Cinco mold. Well, I know today's video might be a little boring, but actually I think it's real cool because we have the swim baits over here almost ready. So in just a second, they, we will show you what they look like. But, uh, okay, guys, this is definitely a Christmas tree ornament. Honestly, though, guys, I think these would actually catch fish. They're a little dark green, but, you know, look at that. That's pretty good. That's beautiful. All right. All right, guys, so now we're just going to put up Here, the bowl real mold. quick. Right here. All right, we're going to put up the mold. And in just a few seconds, in three, two, one, the swim baits are coming. Start the whole video. All right, guys, we had to, uh, we had to pour the stripes for the bass. I know we didn't show y'all, but it's it's fine. Anyways, I think that they ain't bad, guys. For my first time pouring stripes, they're not bad at all. Not not bad at all. But um, so now we got we're gonna pour in the white little bellies of a bass, and then we will then pour in in the uh in the rest of the um color for the top so uh see y'all in just a little bit all right guys we got the uh white with gold flake and black so now we're gonna pour it in there yeah sorry for the uh the barking baying sound i think that's the coon dog it's our coon dog baying that freaking moose all right we gotta pull that off we're just going to pour the white kind of belly. That's only just to pour above the hook slot. That's the belly. These molds definitely got to get hotter. All right, there's one. We're going to get these going. These are because I do not have much time left on our all right, so now we're gonna have a green pumpkin with highlight in it. So we're just gonna 
Hey, we're gonna have to squirt this whole freaking bottle. Oh, there we go, guys. We're out of green pumpkin. Oh, I've been out of green pumpkin, though. I don't know. And come on, come on, come on. That's an ugly green pumpkin. We'll have to add the water on. Don't no, put a lot of that. It's in that say We want nice looking hot. Oh. You know what the thing goes with stripes? No, I know that. that. That's what we're not. We're trying not to do. But this Emerald City, bro. This is not a bad uh, hot. Right. I think the Emerald Gold Flake. You really do. We'll add more Gold Flake in a second. Um, do we have black and dark in that? Or... We're gonna add just a little bit of tad red. I don't know why. I want to add red to this, guys. Three little drops of red, and then we're gonna do dark melon. I don't know why, but I just feel like adding it. Alright, now we're gonna just do light. We just want to make this a light green. We might have to heat it back up. Uh, we want, I think I said we add just a little bit of chartreuse in it. We will, but we're gonna heat this back up. All right, guys, we'll be right back. We're about to heat this up. All right, guys. Oh my God, that is so freaking. That is a terrible looking light green. I don't know. We need to add some trees to it. Yeah, I say we add some trees. It definitely got darker there. Yeah, we're we're some... gonna add black. No, add some trees. We're gonna add black to and then chartreuse. It needs to pop. Yeah, well, we got our black and chartreuse. It needs to darken up just a little bit. It's not open all the way. That black is. Keep it going. Keep it going. I think, <coughs> I think that's the coolest color we ever made. It definitely spills. It was a little funky. <sighs> it's like a nice old bonfire cooking. I don't know where you got bonfire from. It does not smell like no bonfire. It smells like an electric bonfire. It smells like an electric fire. What do you smell? I've never smelled an electrical fire. No, like the, like, like if you turn like an electric fireplace on. Oh. Uh, like right when you turn I don't, it on. I don't smell fire. I'm not dumb. I said a lot, like it smells like propane, okay? Propane, uh, okay. Are there some holes you need to fill in? Yeah, I'm trying my best to fill those in. Right here, down here, where the tail. No, and where the tail connects to the. Um... Alright, yeah, well, we'll fill those in by heating it up. Maybe this, this color might make it look good. Oh, I have no idea, but I don't know. Yep, we're gonna bomb this sucker with heat. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're gonna show you what the, uh, um, what our first things looked like. You can comment down below if they look bad or not, but, Brody, go grab them. You can show them. So. Cooper is thinking in his head. <laughs> that looks like a snake. Whee! But I want y'all to comment down below if people even see this video. But I want y'all to comment down below what y'all think of these as our first hand pours. But not first hand pours, I mean first stripes. We've done plenty of hand pours before. Alright, yeah, I want y'all to comment down below, see what y'all think about that. And back over here we have Cooper. So we, when he is done heating these up, we will show y'all the final results. They, so, no, they gotta stay heated for a while. See y'all guys later. What's up guys? The, um, the swim baits are hopefully done by now. I mean, heck, I've had them on there for like 15 minutes at 200 degrees, so, uh, these molds, we had to cool them off because they did get a little hot, but I did make sure that, I, I tried my best to make sure that we didn't have flashing, um, 
So let's just see how well these look. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's not bad. Guys, that's not bad. Okay, guys, to me, I think this for my very, like, first try, like, we actually got... This is not your first try, Cooper. Well, second... <laughs> that is not bad, guys. You got the nice... <laughs> Look at the big... This is the first try. Hold on, hold on. First try? Okay, first try, second try. My second try. This is definitely <laughs> better. <laughs> We got no keep that. I need that. I need that. Don't throw it. You gotta keep, you gotta keep